Good day, and welcome to Math for Chemistry, Scientific Notation. This is John. So in science, quite often we'll have to deal with numbers that are really big or really small, and those end up being quite hard to work with. So we can transform those numbers into a number that's easier to work with, known as scientific notation. So in this case, I have 7,870,000, and I can convert that into 7.87 times 10 to the 6th. But what did I just turn it into, and how did I do it? What did I turn it into? Scientific notation always has three major parts. First, the coefficient. This is the number information from our number. In our case, uh, 7, the 8, and the other 7. The coefficient is always a number between 1 and 9.9 .9 repeating. The next piece of information is the base. This is the type of number that we're working with. For virtually everything, it will always be 10, since we use a base 10 counting system. The next number is the exponent. And this is showing how many decimal places I had to move, specifically to the left. Now, that exponent can actually be positive or negative. If I had a really large number, and I had to move my decimal point to the left in order to make it a small number, then my exponent will be positive. If it's a small number that I started with, and I had to move my decimal point to the right in order to make my coefficient between 1 and 9.9 .9 repeating, then my exponent will be negative. So let's look at how we make these. Once again, I'm starting out with my number, 7,870,000. And in this case, I've added the decimal point because we're going to need to move it. Now, I want to create a number that is between 1 and 9.9 .9 repeating. So I'm going to move my decimal point. My decimal point now is behind the 7. So I now have 7.87. That's my coefficient. But if I stop now, I have changed the type of number I have. So next I need to tell you what base I'm using for my math. That will always be 10. Now I need to tell you how many spaces I moved my decimal point to the left, which in this case is 6. Keep in mind, if I move my decimal point to the right, I would be putting a negative number there for however many times it hopped. Now there's multiple ways of writing this. There's the standard scientific notation on top, but calculators tend not to like this. They use a modified notation, known as E notation, in which that times 10 to the part is replaced by a capital E. Some calculators will also use a lowercase e. However, one should be warned, a lowercase e does represent uh, 2.7 and uh, some change. So it does have two different meanings. Additionally, some calculators will still utilize times 10 to the, but they're not able to do superscript. Instead, a caret will be used. That's the triangle shape thing uh, as seen on the bottom number. All of these are correct. The top one is the formal and when doing formal papers is generally the most acceptable. But for shorthand notes, homework assignments, etc, usually all three of them are just fine. There are times which we wish to do math using numbers that are in scientific notation. The easiest way of course is to use a calculator. Bearing in mind the way you enter a number in scientific notation in your calculator will vary depending on the manufacturer of the calculator. Please read the manual. When not using the calculator, we can follow a couple of simple rules and still be able to do the math. For starters, if we're doing multiplication, we will multiply the coefficients together and add their exponents. Division is the opposite. We divide the coefficients and subtract their exponents. Addition and subtraction can be somewhat trickier. In this case, we have to convert one or both of our numbers into a pseudo-scientific notation where the base uh, is still 10, but the exponent is the same for both of them. In this case, the coefficient being between 1 and 9.9 .9 repeating is no longer held true. Once you've converted them, add or subtract your coefficients, and then rewrite the number in correct scientific notation 
rounded to the correct significant figures when you're done. In all cases, the base will always remain 10. Hopefully this will have helped. Have a good day, and best of luck.